What's up, y'all? No script today, but we got good news. Ranger Reject trailer is out, and a few hours ago, we got a new promo image, and yesterday, we got the date for the anime. So the anime is coming, uh, I think, October 7th, and we got the new promo image for this. Looks great. All white. You know, people that read it know why it's all white. Um, we'll get into that. I'm going to go and watch the trailer, because I have not seen it yet. I'm going to watch the trailer, gush out about that for a second, talk about it. Um, if you haven't seen, uh, recently I put out a video about Ranger Reject, it was like two videos ago, so check that out too if you, if you're into it. Um, yeah, I mean, like the video if you, if you mess with it, and, uh, let's get into this trailer. I might stop to, to go crazy because I haven't seen it, and I'm excited, I've been waiting forever for this, so let's get into it. Uh, this shit might be loud as hell, so I probably won't say much during the trailer, obviously, because uh, my settings were funky, so sorry for cutting it off, but uh, I couldn't get it right, so it might, it might be loud as hell, so I probably won't even bother talking, you might not hear me. <笑>負けてみろ。今日から大戦隊の仲間です。修行のベルレ。大戦隊は不完全な組織なの。それなら。よ、ウリドウ。大戦隊の <笑>少しは考えろ。自分の役。よ。あんな反抗的な目をするなんて。よし、怪人。消えろ。消えるのはお前だ、レッドキーパー。シングシンコ。Oh man. Yo, Susan Carey voice at the end talking to us all crazy, sexy like. Bro. It was beautiful. Everything I could have asked for, man. It looks amazing, bro. Like there was worry that like the the studio was like Yo Star Studio or something like that, and people were like, Who are they? And I think they did a couple of like cool things, but some of the visuals here are just incredible, like this. This like ranger canon thing that they got going on i mean obviously i'm a reader so i know you know everything that happens but just this stuff is just incredible man this hibiki just bright bubbly boy the towers look crazy that's never seen them in color okay just never seen them in color and um i wonder if this is if the colors are specific to the different battalions um i can't remember if that was a thing but we never like i said we never seen them in color but yeah this is just beautiful man like they it looks like they're gonna nail it bro like this 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 trailer is energy fuel what does that say uh ryujin sentai dragon so they got like drinks themed after the little dragon but yeah man this this is crazy i can't wait for the anime i'm gonna be losing my mind this bro yeah the if so so yeah let me go let me show because Sales haven't been great, and I think part of that is because of, you know, it's it's by the, the guy who made Quintessential Quintuplets, and I think a lot of when you make a new manga as a, as a guy who's made something before, it's like, the people from his last series are like, oh, cool, you know, the, the dude that made a series I liked is dropping another series, so like, a lot of people who, who were fans of Quints probably immediately bought it, and then realized it wasn't at all what they thought it was going to be. Um, so then, you know, sales started declining and then Ranger kind of has like a slow ish start. So like people in the beginning don't really see the value in the series and see how great it is until the end. And like, I guess at that point, like by the time it starts, I think it, it it's really, it hits its stride. I mean, I liked it from the beginning, but I don't think it hits its stride until about 25 ish. And, um, I think around that time, a lot of people have probably just bailed out, but that's, um, just due to stuff like slower pacing and people just having expectations being, you know, different from what actually happens. And so, 
Um, yeah, like he was saying here, um, you know, didn't it manages to attract some fans at the beginning, but maybe it's not the kind of work that they were expecting. And um, you know, Weekly Shonen Magazine doesn't have stellar sales usually. I mean, they have some decent stuff, but this is kind of normal 20k, 10k, or whatever from what I see. Unless you know, every now and then they get something like Tokyo Revengers that goes crazy. But like, I don't think um, I don't think the Seven Deadly Sins sequel is going crazy, or maybe it is. Let me see. Um, it's still fairly new. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's getting, it's doing, it's doing better. But um, I don't know. Um, people, people like Sins, and, uh, I think Shingo La Frontier, I don't know what caused it. I mean, Shingo La Frontier is great, but its sales have been really crazy. I think part of it is just because of, like, the light novel stuff and people just being a fan of the whole, like, bird mask and, and light novel and video game and, you know, fantasy setting. But Ranger Man, it's something special. I, IMO, it's the best new thing that's going on next to, like, Children X. Um, at, every week it just, it does something incredible for me and it just it blows me away nega keeps one-upping himself and we got a color page coming this week i would have included it in this video um if it was out already but it's not um but we did get the cool new visual and this is dope uh i don't know what i'm gonna use for like a thumbnail but yeah man if you if you like this this trailer and you think it looks dope which you know ranger fans are gonna tell you it looks dope um you know check check out the channel yo subscribe i'm gonna be making more ranger content going forward um, you know, every, like the first arc, like I said, it's kind of slow, but I think it's incredible. And a lot of the things that happen later on in the story reference back and call back to that first arc. So it's not like, it's not like a waste. I, I mean, even if there wasn't callbacks and stuff, it still wouldn't be a waste, but it's a good arc. You get to know a lot of characters and stuff. Just putting that out there for people who, you know, don't have any knowledge of the series, but it's, it's really you know solidified itself as one of my favorite ongoings and i don't i don't see that changing every week he just continues to outdo himself and the writing just gets better and better every character is interesting even even though they like seem you know when you first get into it you're like i just want to see the rangers or whatever you think these guys are like nobodies they're all fun and they all have their own motivations and reasons for for being here you know they're not here for nothing um the rangers are fun this series is just going to be a blast, bro. Like, uh, I think by... I feel like after about three episodes, um, people... Because of the pacing with the anime, like, the anime looks like it's being done very well. Like, the the visuals and, like, all of the special effects and the sounds. Like, they got crazy voice actors, I, I heard. I don't know much about voice actors and musicians, but the guy doing the, the OP is, like, apparently really good. I've heard some of his songs, and I, I kind of assumed... Like, I, I looked up some songs that he did, and I thought... That uh, Eat It In Deity's song is kind of how how this one was going to be. It had a similar vibe, IMO. But um, I uh, I think around like episode two or three, like whenever they, they cover chapter six, I think that's when people, people are going to see clips of this because they're going to see like Go Go Loser Ranger and they're going to think it's a joke and a meme or whatever and it's not. Um, but they're going to see, you know, events from around chapter six or seven. And you're going to you're going to start seeing like Twitter clips and people are gonna be like, wow, I thought this this series was kind of like just a, a Power Rangers knockoff or just a Power Rangers, you know, gag series. And I think around six or seven, you know, two or three episodes, people are going to start seeing that this series is more than what it looks like. And it'll start getting real, real fans that purchase the, the series. Um, so I can't wait. I really hope it gets a bump, you know, at least. At least like a 20k bump or something. Increase the sales by like 10 to 20k. I'd, I'd love to see these numbers get bigger. Um, and also just, I don't know, man. I feel like Kodansha hasn't really done the best job of like marketing the series. Like when uh, when the K-Manga app came out, Ranger Reject, I think, was the only um, was the only manga that wasn't caught up. Like they had everything else up to date. Like Attack on Titan and uh, Shangri-La Frontier was caught up. And it's just everything that was in the magazine was up to date. Um, but Ranger had like 80 chapters out and the translations were only about 40 chapters like in. And it's like, do y'all even care? Um, but lately it seems like they've been putting a lot more effort. Not, well, I don't know. I don't know about a lot. They've been putting some more effort. Negi's been getting a lot of color pages and he is, uh, you know, an established mangaka or whatever. So it's like, they can't, they can't ignore the guy, but being in the magazine that I feel like is mostly known not for his action series, and more for its romance. I mean, I think it's doing pretty good. And it's not it's not weekly shonen jump. So like these numbers aren't people are used to seeing like One Piece and JJK and Demon Slayer selling like twenty bajillion copies and then they see this and they're like, Oh wow, this this is gonna get axed. And it's like this is this is really just normal for not weekly shonen jump. And everything else is just like insane. But yeah. 
I'm excited. I'm going to be here. They didn't say how many episodes it's going to be, but I don't think they can do... I think it would be a waste to even bother with 12 episodes. So I think for sure we're going to get 24. And if we do, that's going to that should cover the entire first arc. And probably a little more, honestly, with the anime pacing. Um, I think I think the whole issue with the first arc really is the pacing for, for newer people who aren't all the way locked in. Because I think a lot of people... A lot of people, when they check it out, like if they're not locked in immediately... They're doing the thing where it's like, uh, kind of like with One Piece, where it's like, when does it become good? And then, like, something happens, and then they realize, oh, wow, it's always been good, but it's kind of like throwing a lot of curveballs at me. And I wasn't really paying attention for, like, the first, like, 12 chapters. So now I'm kind of confused, but I don't want to, like, tell anybody that, and I'm not going to go back and reread. So it's like, I'll just take a break and come back later, or I'll say, like, it wasn't that good, and then I never, you know, read it again. And then there's a lot of, like, haters from, like, the, the high I mean, not high but, um, the quintessential quintuplets who were just like, I guess, sour because their favorite girl didn't win in the harem or whatever. I didn't read quintessential. Um, but I do love when an author comes back and does a, a new work. So this, like when I saw the promo art for this initially, I was all over it. But yeah, man, that's uh, that's it for the trailer. I don't know how long this video is. Um, hopefully it's not too long, but hopefully long enough to get some money. Um, yeah, but like I said, check me out, man. I'm going to put a link to my last video in the channel. And also my boy V has a really crazy, like, his video on Ranger, he put it out last year, I think. And that shit is at like 150,000 views. So check his video out too. Um, follow me on Twitter um, if you're not following me. Because I talk about Ranger a lot on Twitter, at Yato Plays. Here's my Twitter. If you can see it, I don't know if it's covered on my screen. Uh, I talk about Ranger a lot there. And I want to try and get more talks about it on my uh, YouTube channel. So hopefully I can get that going soon. But like I said, last the the three arcs that have been covered in the manga have been incredible, man. So if they if they nail it with the anime and get two or three seasons, this is gonna be an all timer. I can I can assure you that this shit is gonna bang. It's gonna bust every time. Uh, interesting color choice though. I thought he was gonna be red Ryujin. Um, I guess there's multiple. And in the trailer, let me see. In the trailer, there's uh there's like two of them. Yeah, there's. Hold on. Where to go? Wait, 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 wait. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, there's like an orange or red and then a blue one, but then here he's purple. So I guess there's multiple. Um, not not like doing an anime spoiler on you or anything. Um, not spoiling anything, but yeah, just, I guess, different colors for, for the kid. But this will be interesting. Can't wait to, to see more. But yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, catch you guys on the timeline or in the, in the you know. Holla, holla.